Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made this geometrical piece, then please keep watching. Okay, so for today's DIY, I'm going to be using two 18 by 24 canvases and two 12 by 16 inch canvases. And my paints are just a Craftsmart white, a metallic white artist loft, and an iridescent green yellow Pebio Studio. My glitters, this is just a pure white, it's spinet brand from Michaels. I just have a dollar store silver. And I have this green, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be using this green or not. Uh, it's Creatology, I get this at Michaels. And I have my Ashland brand decorative glass filler. I have a new bling wrap. It's similar to the stuff that I've used in my other paintings, but this one is a beautiful, beautiful green. And it's going to go perfectly with this paint color. I will leave a link in my description box for that. I have my silver mini mirror tiles from my local Dollarama. And then I have, <laughs> I have a basket of all of these gems. I have different shapes and sizes. And I'm going to be using my Tri-Art liquid glass, of course some brushes, and some painter's tape. I will leave a complete list of all my items in my description box and I will point them out as I am using them. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is paint all four of my canvases in white. I'm just going to use a Craft Smart white. Hey, I'm not going to bother wetting my brush or my canvas with a little bit of water because this Craft Smart paint is fairly thin. Okay, I'm going to finish painting my other three canvases off camera and then I will bring you back. Okay, so all four of my canvases are painted white and now I'm going to work on just my small ones for now. I have some painter's tape. Uh, this is a little bit over two inches wide. And I'm just going to make a design for myself. Okay, and now I'm going to take my iridescent green yellow Pepio Studio and paint all of the exposed white in the green. Okay, so I ended up putting four coats of the green on my canvases. I didn't have a base coat of a similar green that I could have put on prior to the Pebio Studio. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten away with maybe two coats, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to remove my tape. And hopefully I don't have any bleed so far so good. And if I do, I can just patch it up with some white paint. I made sure the coats were nice and 
thin, like I did very thin layers of, of paint to eliminate any bleed underneath my painter's tape. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that. Very pleased with that. Just seem to have some bleeding on my sides here, and I think it's because I didn't press the tape down enough on my sides. I made sure that I pressed it down really well on the front. But that's just on the sides, and I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna bother fixing that up. This looks so pretty. Jeez, you could, I could even hang it this way. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is put some mini mirror tiles and some of my green bling wrap around all four of my canvases. I'll just show a little bit of this on camera, but it's there's an important step here because I want to sandwich in my bling wrap in between my mini mirror tiles. So I'll just show you. They're very easy to work with. You just bend them and then score them. And what I want to do is an outer row of two. And then on the inside row, I'm going to have a row of one. So it's going to be like so. And then I'm going to put a row of two in between. But the first thing that I need to do is frame out the outer portion of my canvas. And you'll see why here in a minute. So I'm just going to go around and put on my row of two. Now that I have my outer row, I have to put the bling wrap in the center. Okay, so start in that corner. Now I'm not stretching this at all because if I stretch it out, it's going to uh, contract on me and then I'm going to have a gap. So I'm just laying it down and it's easy to stretch, trust me. Okay, get it nice and close to those tiles as I can. And now when I go to put on my row of one, It's going to be a nice crisp corner here. Okay, and now my bling wrap, my green bling wrap is all the way around my canvas. And now I'm going to put the single row of mini mirror tiles on. And I'm just sandwiching in my green bling wrap in between my rows of mini mirror tiles. And then I'll just give you a close up of the corner and this is why I wanted to do the double row, then the bling wrap, and then the single row. Okay, I'm just gonna take the craft stick here and just push up against them a little bit. Make sure that they're up nice and close to the bling wrap. Press them down. Use a cloth. They are glass. Okay. And then in this corner, it's a nice, crisp, clean corner. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish all four of my canvases and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I finished framing out all four of my canvases in my mini mirror tiles and my green bling wrap. And I'll show you later on in the video my bigger ones because I'm going to be gluing these onto them. But in the meantime, I want to add my crushed glass and glitter onto my smaller canvases and then they will be finished. And I couldn't line up some of my mini mirror tiles. So I made sure that the gaps, these spaces, we're going to be in the white part because that's where I'm going to be adding my crushed glass and glitter. So I'm going to be using my Tri Art liquid glass and I have it just in a little squeeze bottle here. I've decided that I'm not going to use any of my green glitter. Okay, so I'm just going to start adding my liquid glass just kind of brush it up to where my green is and up to where my frame is Okay, now I'm going to take some of my clear crushed filler glass. And then I'm going to take my white yeah, and then I'm just going to take my dollar store silver. I'm going to add, there's still some liquid glass exposed, so I'm going to finish it up with the white. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing with this canvas here. Okay, my liquid glass is all dry, and now I'm going to brush my canvases off. Oh, that's so pretty. There's the other one. Okay, now I'm going to give these a quick vacuuming with the soft brush on my vacuum cleaner. Okay, so there's one more thing that I want to do with my smaller canvases, and that is add some crushed glass and glitter to the sides where the white is, because right now it does not look finished to me, and I think it'll look a lot nicer with the crushed glass and glitter on the sides as well. And because I'm doing it on the sides, I'm going to be using some E6000 because it's a thicker glue. And if I use my liquid glass, it's just going to run down the sides on me, like it'll pull off. And also this way now I can cover up any of the green that bled into my white. And I'm just going to take a small brush. And because I'm going to be gluing these smaller canvases onto my larger canvases, I want it to be nice and clean at the bottom. So I don't want any crushed glass down there.
And this is just the stuff that I brushed off earlier. Yes, that makes it look finished now, as opposed to this, right? And when I'm letting these dry, I'm going to be putting them on a rack. I don't want to put it on a flat surface, just in case they end up gluing to the flat surface. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I finished my sides with the crushed glass and glitter on both of my smaller canvases, and they look much, much nicer like that. So I'm just going to put these aside because I'm going to be gluing them onto the bigger canvases. But I need to fix up my frame a little bit. On, I'll just show you right here, on some of the corners, there's a gap. And I could not fill that in, even fiddling around with the uh, mini mirror tiles. But... I'm going to just add a little bit of liquid glass and then just some of my silver glitter because I, I don't want anything around my frame. Like in some of my other videos, I have fixed those gaps with the crushed glass and glitter, but that was the design that I was going after, right? And then I'm going to take just a tiny little... Uh, detailing brush you can get packages of these at your local dollar store and i'm just going to dip it into the liquid glass just get a little bit in this space okay, and then i'm just going to add a little bit of the silver glitter and then hopefully That'll kind of camouflage that little gap there. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is glue my smaller canvases onto my larger canvases. And I'm getting them in the center as best that I can. I'm just doing a quick measure. I'm going to take some painter's tape and just place it in the corners where I know that my the corner of my smaller canvas has to be placed because once I put the E6000 on the back and then start putting it on my canvas, I don't want to have to move it around. Okay, so I have both of my canvases taped off and I'm going to be using the tape as a guide for where I need to place my smaller canvases onto my larger one. Okay, so I'm going to take my E6000 and put some of it on the back of my smaller canvas. Now, um, <laughs> <laughs> a little cumbersome. Okay, my fingers are getting stuck with glue. That's okay. So I think I'm going to start here where I can see it better. And kind of drop it using the tape as my guide. So I'm going to take my tape off. I'm not going to bother measuring it again, as long as it's really close, like, you know, fairly close to being centered. Okay, so this is making really good contact with the canvas underneath. So I'm not going to place anything heavy on this, and I'm just going to let it completely dry. Okay, so my smaller canvases are all glued down to my larger ones, and this is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love this. This green color is fantastic, but I've decided that I am not going to use my crystal gems. Remember at the beginning of the video when I showed you all of the items and I had that big basket of crystal gems? And I'm going to show you why. I'm just going to place them 
This is what I initially thought I would do because I'm using this larger canvas kind of like the frame and the matting that you would have in a picture frame. And initially I thought this would look really, really pretty with this green, but this is getting too, too busy. See, it would have looked something like this. These would have been all glued down with my Triart liquid glass. But this one compared to this one, this is just too busy. It takes away from the piece in the middle, I think, in my personal opinion. But let me know in the comments what you think. I have another idea. I'm just gonna remove these. And what else I could do if I wanted to bling up the matting, I'm just gonna call this matting. This is just the brush off from these. And I'm just going to add some loosely on here. I can just brush this off just to let you see what it would look like. Okay, and then compare this with the plain white. And I do like that it's less in your face and it gives it a little bit more shine, a little more interest. And I'm almost thinking that I like this better than just the plain. Hmm. I think I am. I'm just going to add a little bit of crushed glass and the white and silver glitter around here. Not a lot. And then I think I'm going to be really, really happy with that. So let me know which way you like it, with this, without, or with the crystal gems. So I'm just going to clean this up and then I'll bring you back. So now I'm going to add my crushed glass and glitter on my matting. I'm going to do this in sections because this is quite a large area and my liquid glass will dry out on me because I'm not going to be adding a lot of it. And I'm just going to push it up to my smaller canvas and then push it up to my mirror tiles and I'm going to try to keep it off of the face of the mirror tiles. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little of the crushed glass. then it won't get too busy on me, I think. Add, oh, oops, add a little bit of the silver. That wasn't, I didn't want to add that much on there. And then I want to load it up with the white. This is what I want more of, is the white glitter. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. This is so pretty. I love doing the geometrical shapes. Just another way that you can add bling to your pictures, to your art. Oh, this turned out awesome. I love the green. That bling wrap green, oh, it's so, so pretty. It's such a beautiful, beautiful color. I have other ideas to do for some geometrical shapes in different colors, and I think I'm going to do them because this was so much fun to make. And I'm really glad that I add the crushed glass and glitter along the matting. That just set it off perfectly.
Had I had more of that bling wrap, I was thinking that I would outline some of the geometrical shapes in the center. That would look really awesome as well. But as it turns out, I almost used a whole sheet of the bling wrap, and that's all that I had. Very, very pretty, you guys. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It feeds the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch. And God bless.